He arrived at Fern Creek High School Tuesday on a bus and left in an ambulance. We're talking about 15-year-old Javante Burroughs, the latest victim of school, a school shooting, and it happened right here in our backyard. Tonight, as he continues his recovery at University Hospital, his parents are speaking for the first time on this tragedy. WLKY's Lauren Adams joins us now with more. Lauren? Good evening to you, Rick. The Burroughs tell me their son, who police say was not the shooter's intended target, is in good spirits. They're praying tonight for a speedy recovery, but who else they're praying for just might surprise you. My son, is he alive or is he dead? Lord. Let him be all right. Just two days after 15 year old Javante Burroughs is rushed to the hospital, the latest victim of a school shooting, his parents are breaking their silence. He's seen here in his hospital bed giving a thumbs up. A far cry from Tuesday when, after a five hour surgery, he could only muster enough strength to call out for his mother. The first thing that I did was grab him and thank God that I yet have my son. I thank God that I can say I still have my baby. Philistine and her husband, Pastor Julius Burroughs, believe in the power of prayer. We thank God because it was the Lord that sustained him and kept him. So we're grateful for that today. It was just after lunch Tuesday at Fern Creek High School. Javante is on the third floor switching classes around one when he's shot in the stomach. Hours later, a 16-year-old classmate is taken into custody. That's when police learn Javante, an honor roll student, was not the intended target. The boroughs who say their son didn't really know the gunman are now doing something remarkable. I pray for him, and I pray for the family because they are going through as well as we are going through. Pastor Burroughs, who has ministered hundreds through the years, hopes the young man changes his ways. Somewhere down the road, he come to his senses that, you know, I can do better than this. Right. But for now, their focus is Javante, a young man whose goal just days ago was making the school's basketball team. That goal, his mother says, hasn't changed. He done came this far, he said, and he want to continue on. And I'm praying that whatever injuries that he may have, that God can heal and he can go and do what he want to do. Listen to this, Rick. Javante Burroughs' older brother, a senior at Fern Creek, was on the third floor Tuesday and witnessed his brother get shot. Now, he has not been back to school since, but family says it's not a security issue. In fact, they commended the school district today for the way Tuesday was handled. But for now, understandably, Pastor Burroughs tells me he simply wants his family all together. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. I can certainly understand that. Thank you, Lauren. Javante could get out of the hospital next week. But his recovery will take several more weeks, and his family does not have insurance. If you are able to help, here's what you can do. Either go to any Chase Bank branch and make a deposit into the Friends of the Burroughs account. Or you can mail a check made out to Friends of the Burroughs to the address you see on your screen. It's 312 South 4th Street, 6th Floor, Louisville, Kentucky, 40202.